Hello guys, welcome to an episode of The Cube. I am somewhere that I have not been in a long time. I am in my bedroom here at my house in the Mesa and I have an ender chest in here now. Ooh, nice. Uh, so, um, I was here for my 4th of July picnic, which if you didn't see, I think it turned out pretty awesome. Uh, some really cool fireworks. Um, so I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And I've also been collecting uh, some hardened clay for the stables that I am going to be building at spawn. So if you didn't know, uh, I'm, <sighs> there it is. Uh, so if you didn't know, I'm going to be building some stables and these are going to be uh, available for cube members to rent on a weekly basis. Uh, see here, I haven't cleaned up all of my uh, 4th of July things and I also forgot to take the collar off of Molly, which is what you hear in the background right now, Molly. Thank you. Uh, so they're going to be able to rent the stables, the stalls, uh, for their horses if, uh, if we do the horse racing in the future. You're also going to be able to buy horses there. If you remember, I'm going to try to collect every horse that's available in Minecraft uh, to have for purchase when I open. But, da 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 Bam! I have gone ahead and I have built two treatments for stables here at my house in the Mesa and I've put Thumper and um, what's your name again? Oh, Twinkle Toes. I, I put Thumper and Twinkle Toes in since they're the same type of horse for perspective on uh, which horse would look best. So basically, I'm going to leave it to you guys. If you remember, if you watched the cube at the beginning, I used to always leave questions for the viewers to decide what we do. And so this is going to be what uh, one of those questions is, which stable do I build? Now, it's hard to judge this. It's not going to look like this. It's not going to just be a square. It's going to be a massive type of pavilion where there are lots and lots of rows of these types of stables. Um, so if you can imagine, like, um, basically, if I step back here, like, if you can imagine this, right, but rows and rows and rows of it down, like, probably... Uh, you know, a row of 10 of these and then on the other side, a, another row of 10 of these and you would walk down the, the middle um, and, uh, and these would be on either side. So really, you're not looking at the roofing. I don't know what that would be yet or the actual structure of the building. All you're judging is the color scheme. Uh, some of the things are the same. There's always going to be a stone brick here on the ground. There's always going to be coarse dirt uh, here, which if you didn't know, I don't know why, but for some reason when we updated to the snapshot, coarse dirt just started uh, automatically uh, populating in the savanna. So if you look at this, see it says coarse dirt on it, and this is basically dirt that will never become grass, uh, no matter what. Um, and the way that you make coarse dirt is you combine dirt with gravel, but for some reason it's just spawning here. I'm going to have to go take a look at the uh, rest of the savanna and see if uh, it all updated to coarse dirt as well. Because then I could just mine it and not have to bother with the gravel. Um, so anyway, it'll always have coarse dirt on the middle. I thought of Podzle, but it's just a little too... Um, I don't know. It just looks a little weird. Uh, I like the look of the dirt better. Uh, a hay bale for the horses to eat. A cauldron for the horses to drink. Um, so really, you're just looking at the actual wood. Now, this is dark oak, uh, which they have right next to spawn. Um, so I'm not going to buy that. I'm going to either collect the, uh, the wood for this or the wood for this. Uh, and this is the black stained clay. It looks... Uh, it looks brown, but it's actually the black one. Um, and I originally, I built this one first, and I think it's really beautiful. Uh, I thought that it would really uh, let the horses kind of pop. That was my thinking, uh, that the dark background would really allow the horses to stand out, especially some of the, uh, the other horses, like the brown ones and the white ones, would really, really stand out, uh, and it would be pretty striking. So this is actually... Uh, I hate to say that it's my preference, but this is what I originally envisioned. And then uh, as I built this to just see how it would look, um, I mean, I, I still really, really like it. But I know a lot of you guys are probably expecting a, uh, a red 
stable. Uh, and that's what I have built over here. This is my stable that I built uh, pretty early on in the cube um, out of the red. It is a traditional red stable. However, keep in mind that it's going to be next to my Donkey Depot and Mule Menagerie, which is orange. Um, so this would actually probably complement it a little bit more. Uh, but I do love the red. I love the red with this gray wood. Um, I think that they're actually both really good options. And as you can see, I have an item frame here with a saddle. Oops. Whoopsies. Let's put that back in. Um, item frame with a saddle there. Item frame with a leash here. And the thinking is that um, renting the stable gets you access to those, but it doesn't get you. You can't keep them, essentially. So if you decide that you're not going to rent the stable anymore and you're not going to continue to pay me the gold for that week, then you need to turn back in your saddle and your leash. Um, so that is basically the look of the stable stall. Stable stall number one up there. Uh, you know, obviously, if you rent it out, you can put like you know, Parker's stable or whatever. Um, and that would be your little stall for your horse. And I, I guess you could keep multiple horses in one one stall. That wouldn't be so bad. But anyway, um, so the way we're going to do this, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to actually make a, uh, like I guess it's called a straw poll, or if I'm going to do it where I leave a comment and then whichever one gets the most thumbs up. Um, I might do the straw draw poll option just if, if I think that it's more um, I don't know more secure so basically look in the description of this video and it will give you instructions on how to cast your vote you can leave a comment with what you think uh, is the best but the only way to actually cast your vote will be down in the um, the first sentence of this description will either say uh, look for my comment below and thumbs it up but I think a lot of people were having a hard time doing that so it'll probably be a link to a poll and oh look it's getting nighttime I love it up here it's so beautiful um, it's so striking with the stars I'm thinking I might leave the uh, the open like an open area in the stalls like the stalls would obviously be covered but then in the hallway maybe it would be exposed I'm not sure but um, I want to go ahead and get this leash and while it's uh, the last seconds of sunset, we can go up to the roof. So many of you commented on my 4th of July special uh, that somebody had accidentally uh, untethered Jeb from my balloon. If you don't know, uh, this is the house from up. And these are all balloons up here. I can hear Jeb. Um, I need to get back up here and break this cyan block and then from there I should be able to uh, oops, to get up and spot Jeb. Are you here Jeb? Here you are! Jeb is my multicolored sheep which matches the inside of the balloon perfectly. Why is there so much green up at the top? That's, I don't remember doing that. It's kinda weird. Um, Alright, so Let's just hook you up, but you stay there though. Don't come down. No, 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 no. You stay up there. Um, I am going to get this block back in my inventory here and go down and then quickly block you back up and then go all the way down and hook you to the fence post. And that is how all of my balloons stay tethered uh, in my up house. Uh, pretty nifty looking, although sometimes it despawns. And honestly, I it didn't bother me uh, that someone did that during the bakery. I have uh, quite a few slime balls, so as soon as I get some more string, I can make 55 leads. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going to take one last look at these. Oh, red versus black, or brown, really. It's tough. I don't know. Maybe I should have like a... You know, an option where it's like one side is red and one side is brown. Although I think that that would look kind of weird. I think I need to go with one color. And I I really, I don't know. Something draws me towards this one just because I think it's different and it's not what I uh, expected to do. This seems like so kind of me and what I would do. Um, but I'm going to leave it completely in your hands. I did have uh, Grazer and Parker and Grape. 
uh, weigh in and they all had a strong preference. And I'm not going to tell you guys what that was because uh, I don't want it to skew it. I'm afraid I've already skewed it too much by saying that I kind of prefer the brown. I really love them both, honestly. I can't really decide. And I might just leave them here uh, on my property because I don't really use this space for anything else. I might leave this here for a while, too. I don't know. It just I like it. It makes me happy. It makes me think of all that I have accomplished here at the cube. But basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to spawn. Um, I'm going to make sure that I have all of the building materials that I think that I need. I definitely will need signs. Um, and I guess I need this one glass pane. Um, I'm probably going to need dirt if I end up having to make coarse dirt. And let's see. I'll take an... Oh, a very damaged anvil. Okay. Um... <laughs> Do need paper for anything? Glowstone? I don't think so. Um, I definitely could use some doors and hmm, probably some of these stone brick stairs. I'm going to have to make a lot of stone brick actually though, so I'll, I'll load up on cobblestone. Um, uh, oh, I do need the ink sacks if you guys decide to go with the black stained clay, so I won't get rid of those yet. Um, no carpeting. I have my wood. I think that's good for now. Um, hopefully that'll be, uh, enough to get me going on the build, which I'm going to do. The build! <laughs> uh, which I'll be doing, uh, after you guys, uh, cast your vote. And I think I'll leave the voting up, um, probably for, you know, I'm probably not going to get started on the build for a little bit, so I'll probably leave it up for, um... Uh, you know, almost a whole week, probably. Uh, this episode will go up on Tuesday. I probably will start building it over the weekend. So I guess that would be you You would have until maybe Friday uh, to vote. Oops, and can I get in here quickly before something comes? Let me have my sword ready. Oh, zombie. Zombie. All right, perfect. Um, so the other thing I need to do uh, eventually is I need to make sure, and I don't want to die to lava uh, that I can bring a horse through here and it looks like this is fine because this is three high right um, which I think is fine I don't know if I can ride a horse through that but I could lead the horse because you know I'm trying to get one of every type of horse uh, for my pastures and uh, I, I need to actually come up with a, a, a tally of how many horses that is but um, it's it's a lot and what I want to do is have every horse available for purchase when you you first come. Okay, so I'm going to mine this, and I'm just going to be prepared to run like the wind if I see lava. Um, but what I've noticed, I've started to collect quite a few horses. Uh, I hear a ghast, and, and I'll show them to you in a minute if you haven't seen them. I'll kind of uh, take an inventory of them, but... I realized that I really don't have any of the gray ones. So there's the the regular gray one, which is what my horse Smoothstone is. And then there's the spotted gray one, which is what Thumper and Twinkle Toes are. And then there's also the um, kind of the one with the kind of almost wings on it, like the Apache style gray one. And I haven't been able to find any of those um, at... Uh, at spawn um, and I'll probably take a horse and, and go look but I have so many of them in the Mesa so I thought you know if worse comes to worse and I'm not finding uh, the gray horses at spawn I'm going to need to um, to bring some of them through the nether uh, and I, I might even need to do a little bit of breeding although I, I don't really want to do that because chances are you can get um, you can get, uh, you won't get exactly the horse that you want. I think it, I think it makes the horse one of the parents. Like, I don't think if you breed two gray horses, one regular and one with spots, that you would possibly get the Apache style gray horse. I think that you would get one of the parent combinations, which is kind of a shame. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more literature online about horse breeding in Minecraft and exactly how it works maybe there is so if you if you know 
of any definitive breeding guide, please do uh, share a link with me uh, either on Twitter or I guess in the comments of this video. Um, but I'm also quite concerned about selling horses based on their speed because I think people will get on and um, you know, if there's a slow horse, it's probably not going to get sold. So I don't know if I'm going to do, I probably will do varying prices based on speed. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to, to charge a lot for these horses. Uh, and then the other thing I'm going to offer is, uh, the, uh, the horse armor. So, uh, which, oh, was it in my ender chest? <gasps> Okay, I saw I saw fire, but I think actually no, I hear lava, so this is kind of scaring me. Let me get up here. Huh. Um. Anyway, I'm going to offer horse armor. I have found iron and gold horse armor just from my own mining, um, which I meant to bring with me. I hope I think I might have left it in my chest at home, um, but hopefully it's in my ender chest or in my nope, it's not in my inventory. But um, I'm going to buy diamond horse armor in this episode as well, uh, really quickly from Tibsy's Black Market, uh, which if you don't know, is a, uh, a shop that is conveniently located behind my cat cafe. So I'm going to go do that now, and I'm also going to clean Grazer out of his saddles. Um, but he, he charges quite a bit for them. So, oh, my armor's not here. I don't know where I put it. That is a shame. Um, but let me throw in, I don't need all of this um, nether rack. It'll just despawn, which is fine. Um, so I guess let me just take my gold blocks. I have 55 gold blocks to spend. Um, I'm really a little nervous about spending all of them because... Uh, I, I'm afraid that it's gonna. I'm, I might need to buy some some materials for when I build this shop. Um, I'm just a little afraid of, of spending all of my money and then not getting the return on it. So I want to buy the saddles first because I think that they're a little bit more rare than the diamond horse armor. Um, but I mean they're both really rare. So I'm here at Grazer's Goodies, and his saddles are. Three gold blocks per saddle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times three would be thirty-three. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be so much gold. Grazer's gonna be so happy, and I'm going to be so sad. Um, and I just remembered that these guys don't stack either. So I'm going to have to go and put all of my building supplies into my ender chest, which is fine. Uh, I need to get Henry, actually, and put all of my building supplies in with Henry. Now, let me just make sure I'm doing this math right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times three is just the double of that number, so 33. So I'm going to go ahead and put 33 blocks across the counter. Don't worry, guys. That is how you pay. See right here. To pay, please toss payment over the counter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take all of these are mine. I am so excited. Um, oh, it's so much money, but it's, it's going to be worth it. My, my stables are going to be awesome. And I might just raise the prices of the, the stables now. Maybe I will sell the saddles. Or, or I guess I'll have to make the weekly rental like four gold blocks or something a week. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, leave some suggestions for pricing below because I definitely understand that a lot of you think that I uh, underpriced. Oh, should I go check on my cats and see if I've gotten some payments? I hope they're okay. Hi, guys. Uh, a lot of you told me that you think that I underpriced the mules and the donkeys. I don't necessarily think that that's true because I think that if they had been, I, I still made a profit on each one. Uh, and I think that if, they, oh, no one's been to the cat cafe. I checked it just a few days ago, though. Um, oh, I wanted to go say hi to them, though. Uh, I definitely think that if they had been overpriced, that everyone would have said, uh, I don't really need a, <laughs> um, I don't really need a, a donkey 
or a mule, uh, and I don't think they would have bought them. So, <laughs> hi, Georgette. Oh, hey, buddy. You're okay. All right, you guys are all right. You're 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 alive, which is all that matters. Um, wait, orange. Oh, no. I think it probably fell in the... Oh, and that one did, did <laughs> that one did too. I think I think it fell into the. Um, no. Oh, <laughs> and some chicken too. What in the world? Uh, okay, let's um let's go back up, and um, then we can replace this with the blue. Oops, I always do that. So blue there, and then the red uh, there and there. And I'm glad you guys are okay, but you're not bringing in very much business, so you better get on that. Uh, so back here um, is Tibsy's Not So Black Market, which is good because I don't want to be in the black market. So the items are here. Diamond horse armor. Um, I guess this is in the 10 diamonds section, which would be 10 gold blocks. Three diamonds by two. Is that what that means? Or is this like a... Ten diamonds. I think that that just means it's in the ten diamonds section. Um, so, oh, this hurts me, guys. This really hurts me um, so much. I, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I might need to get like a loan on the cube or something. But I definitely want to be able to display iron, gold, and diamonds in my stable. <sighs> Do you think he really means that he wants diamonds? He can just go convert them. So I think it's fine to pay him in gold. Um, okay, so that's my diamond horse armor. Oh, gosh, guys, I'm broke. And I know a lot of you guys said that I wasn't rich to begin with when I was excited about my 55 gold. Listen, I know that there are a lot of members over in the cube community who are wealthy beyond wealth. Um, but, like, honestly, don't give me a hard time about it. <laughs> like it's just not nice um i i'm perfectly happy i thought that 55 gold blocks was a lot of money and um yeah i guess i could be doing a lot better but it's not a competition um and let's go see if anyone has purchased any mules or donkeys that would sure help pay the bills two donkeys two mules so no that's a big no and yes i do need to check the sugar dispensers i know that they are low so I need to actually get some sugar, which I don't think I have. And here's my other armor. It's perfect. It was here all along. Um, so this is fantastic. I've got uh, iron, gold, and horse armor. Uh, if anyone wants to purchase those at, this, at the stables. And then I've got a load of saddles. And I will make a load of leashes. Hi, Henry. Uh, let's put some of this stuff in you. Um, I don't think anyone would steal you. You know what? It's too risky. It is too risky. Let's put this stuff in you uh, instead, which we're going to use on the build because I need to keep the other stuff on my person. So here are the horses. Is this all of them? Um, as you can see, there are no gray ones, uh, but I do have one of these kind. I need the white one, the prismarine one, if you're watching my Sea Temple uh, videos, which if you're not watching the Sea Temple challenge videos, or I think they're called Sea Temple Quest, you really, I am so proud of that series. It's so funny. Um, there's not, it's not going to go on forever. There's a, a, a limited a number of episodes that we're going to be doing and it ends. It's so great. Like you honestly, and I have a white horse on it with the black on the background and I named her Prismarine. Um, please, please, please check it out. Even if you don't think that that series is for you, I'm telling you it is, uh, kind of one of my favorites. Uh, but anyway, we have a lot more horses to get. This is going to be the main stables area here. And then um, somehow I'm going to kind of build a way up to here. And then when you get up here, this is going to kind of be um, like the pastures area uh, where all of the horses that are down there will be grazing. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it still. Uh, but I want to do kind of a big field. Um, and then obviously the, um, the horse race track is uh, over there where that green pipe is. 
So maybe I'll do the pastures. I don't know. This is a nice area that's lit up. I wonder if someone's using this area for something. I'm going to do the pastures somewhere around here. Uh, and then the actual stables will be, will be here as well. But so I think I have all of the spotted horses. I have the tan spotted horses, the black spotted horse, the chestnut spotted horse. And if you look very closely at the white horse there, that one back there, uh, that is a, a white spotted horse right there. So I have all four of the spotted horses, so I can cross that off the list. Uh, but there's loads more that I still need to get. Isn't that right, Henry? Anyway, um, so guys, make sure to look in the comments below to figure out how to vote for the stable of your choice. And on the next episode, uh, I'm probably going to have the stables almost complete. Uh, I don't like to do, uh, I don't like to break up the building episodes into multiple episodes because I find that uh, my progress can sometimes be a little slow. And then you see the progress happening on everyone else's cube videos. So when I do a big building like this, I like to just sort of do it. Um, and a lot of it will probably be off camera, but... I need you guys to make the decision first on red versus dark brown. So you guys do that, and then I shall build the stables. Stacy's stables. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys uh, next time on another episode of The Cube uh, on Tuesday. So Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. Or a horse. I mean, if you have the means to rescue a horse, I'm not going to tell you not to.